Good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. How's your week going? It feels like a Friday with tomorrow being a holiday. It's like the week is just done. I know it's done around here. When we get done with the live today, we're all heading out to begin our holiday. I hope you're doing the same. Maybe you're already on holiday, watching the live from wherever you are. Maybe you're en route to your holiday. It's a fun time. It's always kind of neat the way it lines up with Canada Day being on the 1st and then Independence Day being on the 4th. So both countries get to celebrate. If you happen to be close to the border, you get dual celebrations. Hey, Susie, I know you got both, and that's pretty much exciting. We've got a lot of fun planned for you today. Thinking about holidays, thinking about summertime, summer fun, summer entertaining. And I wanted to share some designs with you that are appropriate for casual get-togethers. When you're having maybe a backyard picnic, or a family reunion, or maybe a barbecue tomorrow for Independence Day. Things that you could use. I picked a variety of things. Nothing that's a lot of anything, but just some leftovers that we had. So I've got lilies, mini carnations, roses, liatris, alstroemeria, a little bit of feverfew, some pin cushions, and then some oryngium roses, mini hydrangeas, just all kinds of things. We've got the whole team here. We all stayed through the live before the holiday begins. So David's working technology with Beckett. The two of them will make sure that we stay live with you. Watching the questions and the comments, we've got Marisa and Carolyn both here. And then greeting you online, both Caledonia and Susie. Then watching from the audience, we've got Mary Ann. So we have a full house. It's pretty much fun. And I, get to play with flowers with you. So thanks for joining us. If you haven't introduced yourself yet, do so. Say hi to the tribe. If you're watching us on a phone, if you turn it sideways, you can get a little larger picture. If the comments cover up and it makes you crazy, swipe it to the side, it'll put it in silent mode, and then you won't see the comments. You can just see the pictures. If you want the comments and the pictures, go back to vertical, and that way it'll be down on the bottom. If you're watching us on a laptop, you can go full screen. If you're with us on YouTube, you can connect it to your television and watch us on the great big screen. So you've got so many different choices. David, what you got there? Well, it's partial outage on Facebook right now. Oh, so if you're on Facebook, some of you might not be seeing us. I know Facebook has been having fits today. Every time I was logging in and looking at things, sometimes it wasn't working. So if perchance you go out at some point, try rebooting, just kind of refresh. Or go over to YouTube and catch us there. Either way, you can get it. But I think Facebook's working right now. It is working on YouTube. Facebook is having issues. Okay, so note to you, if you're having trouble seeing us, it's not our technology, it's Facebook this time. So if you're, it's making you crazy, pop right over to YouTube, to the Flower School channel, and that's not having any glitches there at all. So we may have a larger crowd on Facebook today than normal, or on YouTube today than normal. Wherever you are, take a moment and introduce yourself. Say, hi, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hi, I'm from Los Angeles, California. Hi, I'm from Australia. Where are you from? And introduce yourself to the rest of your tribe. It's really important that we all connect and get to know each other and support each other. And this is your chance each week at the collaboration I know a couple of you reached out to me wanting to know if there was anyone that wanted to share on the Bring a Friend discount for the Creative Retreat, and I told you this is the place to post it, that you're looking for someone to share on the Bring a Friend discount. So if that was you, this is your opportunity. Set it in there and save because it's the best way to find a friend, collaborate, save some money, and put it all together. Design-wise, I gathered some different things. I thought we'd just have a little bit of fun today. I wanted to share with you things that I would do if it was for my picnic or if I was just having a casual get together. I started with this wonderful wood box and a metal frame. It's a two piece, see the box comes out, sets down in. I lined it with a plastic liner, then filled it with floral foam. 
it's wedged in tightly enough, I don't need to tape it. So those of you that go, is she going to tape it? No, I'm not going to tape it. It's wedged in really well, so it's just going to stay put like that. Then, if you were with us last week when we were talking about Pacific Northwest treasures and such, I saved some of the things that um, teacher Michelle had brought from her yard and back 40, as she likes to call it, on her farmette. Um, some beautiful moss. We are so lucky here in the Pacific Northwest. And I can just set this in, kind of drape it over, force it down a bit, but I don't want to push it down into the water reservoir. It will work like a wick, and I don't want that to happen. Oh, I just want to sit here and pet it. It has such great texture. I wish you could feel this. If you've never been to the Pacific Northwest and felt the mosses, you need to do that one of these days. There's a reason we have so much rain, and the rain gives us these beautiful textural tapestries that we can touch, and they're just so grand. So I've got that, and then also from Teacher Michelle, some of her birch. Isn't that great? Oh, and I can just lay it across the top to begin with, thinking about where I might want it. Maybe one in the back, maybe one kind of sideways, and just laying them in. I've just perched them. I'm going to lift it so you can see, but I've got to hold it. But I'm just perching it there. That's not going to stay put. So then I had teacher Marisa prepare for me some 18 gauge wires. She just taped it with corsage tape and then giving it a cut. I can fold it into a U and bend it over, securing it in place. Well, I do some securing here. David, Marisa, Carolyn, what's going on out there? Who's here? We've had a wonderful international crew today. Canada, the United States, Italy, Sweden. How grand. So Canada, Italy, Sweden, and the U.S. all represented. David? Well, Facebook seems to be working better in Europe than it is here. And the good news is it will be live later. So you can go back because it looks to be uploading very beautifully. Excellent. Okay, so I don't know if you all caught that or not, but it sounds like the European countries are having no problem seeing us, whereas the local domestic market on Facebook is challenging. So if you are being challenged, just pop over to YouTube. It works so great there, not a problem. If you have trouble finding the channel, all you have to do is go to floraldesigninstitute.com, our website, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and on the bottom corner, you can click YouTube and it'll take you straight there. It's the Flower School channel. David. Caledonia, would you do the YouTube link for everybody? Hey there, yeah, Caledonia and Susie, link that so that everybody can get there easily. That's a good idea. Thanks, David. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, I have tomatoes. I love summertime tomatoes on the vine, and these are actually pretty sturdy and hard, which means they're probably not the best eating tomatoes, but they're really great designing tomatoes. So I'm just kind of deciding where I might want them, and there's a good spot. It seems to perch in there really well. I'm just kind of weaving it around my sticks and thinking about how best to set it in place, and then going back using the taped wire and securing that. And I'm doing this two-sided. There's not going to be a front and back. So I've got to bring some over onto the opposite side now. Bring them over, working them around the sticks and the moss, determining how best, ah, kind of sits nicely right there. That's a good spot for it. And then deciding, do I want that guy in there or do I want to take him off? You know what, I'm going to take that one off. Sometimes pruning, is as important as choosing the right materials, knowing that this one just doesn't fit there. Taking it off, then coming back and securing it in place with a hairpin. So yes, I'm going to use flowers too, but I'm starting out with just a wonderful textural tapestry, pulling your eye from one side of the arrangement to the other, from one side to the other, so that I have a horizontal line going through the design. I'm going to grab a little bit more moss because 
I want to carry your eye all the way to the opposite side. So I'm just pulling off a tiny bit more and I'm going to tuck it over on this side and then secure that in place. And then I'll turn it so that you can see it from both sides. Because they're different, but both sides are beautiful. So you can see how it works. Now, if you have worked with produce before, you know that it does give off ethylene. If you've gone to flower school, you know it gives off ethylene. So there are some of you out there going, oh my gosh, are you going to kill the flowers with all your ethylene? No. It's not going to be a problem. Yes, it's giving off ethylene. Yes, it's going to shorten the life, but no more so than everyday life is going to shorten the life of your flowers. So mixing produce and flowers in a design is totally fine. You just have to think logically, make sure that you get them anchored in there well, make sure that everything works just the way you want it to. So now, any questions out there as I keep working here? Because I'm just going to have some fun, and you're going to have to speak up and tell us what you want to know. Marisa, what you got? Well, I don't have any questions, and there's not much happening on Facebook. However, I do want to, uh, to give you a shout out to the top fans that we have on Facebook. Uh, we have Mildred Sturbees. Hi, Mildred. Nancy. Millie's here. Yay. And Nancy Forsyth and Robert Kading. Ah, Nancy and Robert. Glad you could join us. It's going to be an interesting live because everybody's in a holiday mode and we've got some fun announcements we're going to share with you. Um, probably in about 10 minutes I'll let you know what our surprise is because yes, with it being a holiday, I wanted to say thank you to each of you that joined us live, give you a special heads up on a new promotion that we'll be doing because giving up an hour of your life is a big deal. And it's so wonderful. Now, the other thing, and you may have heard it last week, is we are having a Tulip Tribe meetup, a Tulip Tribe champagne reception, Tulip Tribe get together, whatever you want to call it. David, do you have a, the picture of the Tulip Tribe get together on there? Did I have you do that? No, okay. So I'm just gonna tell you guys, and then I'll be posting it on Facebook and on Instagram so that you can look at it there. But on July 7th, at 7.30 p.m., so it's Sunday the 7th at 7.30 p.m. at the Paris Hotel in Las Vegas. It's part of the American Institute of Floral Designers Awaken Symposium, but at 7.30 on the 7th, all these sevens, we'll be having a Tulip Tribe Champagne reception. If you're going to be in Vegas or in drivable distance, Private message me through the Facebook page, pop me an email at leanne at floraldesigninstitute.com. Whatever way you can get the message to me, and I can send you the location and the details because it is a private reception, RSVP required so that I buy enough champagne and sparkling water and treats to snack on. But if you can join us, please do, because it's going to be a lot of fun to have a real world meetup just like we have the virtual world meet up each week. We'll be celebrating our inductees at AIFD Symposium. We're very, very proud to have five of our graduates being inducted this year, which is really grand. And they worked hard to get that, and we need to celebrate it. So I added some pincushion proteas in here. You can see how that brightens really quickly, keeping it low. So it's just a fun arrangement that could sit on a picnic table, not be overwhelmed with stuff. You don't want to be too fancy, you just want to be festive when it comes to the holiday. Maybe a little bit of some weedy type things. I've got some green trick carnations and tuck these in and it gives a contrast to the sphagnum moss because you've got the yellower green and then the greener kelly green of the sphagnum moss to the green trick gives it a nice blending of hues bring it on both sides maybe a little bit of oryngium gives it a casual look so carolyn david marisa anything else happening out there um, yeah i'm quiet on facebook i think everyone's headed over to 
YouTube, there's a few people, um, Carrie Kessler I saw, Gayla Lowe, um, and then Kelly Krauss. Um, other than that, I think everyone's going to YouTube. Cool. <laughs> we have well. a few on YouTube. We have Marmac, of course, and Teresa, or Therese, excuse me, and Sonia from class that just graduated. Hi, Sonia. with us. Um, and Therese Diane, and Marmac, and Diane. Sandra. I'm so glad you guys are here. Have you got big plans for the weekend? I know, Marmac, you just finished your holiday with Canada Day, and we're just getting on to our holiday, so you had an earlier celebration, but it is so grand to have summer festivities to look forward to. We have fireworks tomorrow. I was just trying to figure out where the best place for me to sneak away to watch the fireworks is going to be. Um, we've got some friends that just moved into the neighborhood that they have a rooftop balcony. And so I just very subtly hinted that maybe they could see the fireworks from their rooftop balcony. Hint, hint, hint. But um, otherwise, I'll walk down to the river because we can see them just down. It's about five blocks to walk down towards the river, and then you can see the fireworks up all over the side. So it's really fun, really, really fun. So you can see I've added a little bit of the orange, or excuse me, Nigeria. I said the wrong word. Nigeria in here, which brings the green up adding the pods upwards. Then I could come back and add a little bit of foliage, some movement, give it some outward line movement to carry your eye through. We've had so much fun around here. Last week we had our first summer class graduate and our advanced night class graduate. So we've had a very, very busy time. So we had graduations galore, and then we're getting ready for our July class, which starts on Monday. It'll be here before you know it. It's just always amazing to me how quick the summer days go. Uh, Carolyn and Marisa were over setting up the classroom today so that we can all go on holiday, and when we come back Monday morning, everything will be ready, and we've got it set for the students. I know that Catherine got into town from China, so she's here already. Uh, we talked to several different people that have gotten settled. They're either local or they're flying in uh, over the weekend, getting ready to do something they love in the classroom. So I should probably move on to another arrangement. I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it again. Just adding some line to spread it out. Wouldn't this look great on a red checkered tablecloth? Or even just on an old wooden picnic table? It doesn't have to be fancy to be fabulous, especially during the summer. You want to keep it to be pretty laid back. Carolyn, what you got? Yeah, um, you're getting questions on what foliage are you currently using? You know, I believe it's a type of clematis that is not in bloom. Uh, but I believe it's a clematis leaf, but I knew somebody was going to ask me that and I'm not exactly positive. It is a locally grown product that Michelle got for me last week and it's holding really, really well. I'm so excited about that. But it doesn't have a bloom on it, but it sure looks like clematis. I'll hold it up closer so that you guys can see. I'm pretty positive it's just a bloom-free clematis, which might get blooms later, but currently it's just green. And it gives me great movement. Isn't that wonderful, the way it just sort of spreads out and fills in so beautifully? So I've only used two flowers. Kind of funny, isn't it? Two flowers, that's all I did because I wanted to do all the fun stuff. Then if this was going to be my picnic piece, I like to go ahead and add satellite pieces, things to kind of carry your eye on down. So when I went to the grocery store today, they had peppers on sale. They were four for $5, but I only needed three. But you know what, you can buy three, even if they're only four for $5. It's, it just works that way. Amazing what computers can figure out. It just kind of makes me laugh. But with the peppers, which I personally hate peppers, I never eat them, but they are so beautiful. So I can cut it out. key when you're looking for produce to design with is to make sure it's super fresh 
almost to the point of being green, unripe, not fresh. You want it to be too fresh. So it maybe wouldn't taste good, but it's perfect for designing. Mother Nature then provides me with a waterproof container. How cool is that? Thanks, Mother Nature. All I need to do then is take a little bit of foam, cut it down, think about how much I want in there, and just set it right down in, just like so. Now I can add that to my arrangement. When I was picking my produce, I was thinking about, okay, this one kind of goes that way, or it goes that way. So you can do it sideways or upright. So I can just cut this out. Now, if you're a cook, you know what? You could save this and put the part that you cut out into your cooking and such. Me, it's gone. Don't need that. Not going to ruin my cooking by putting in something that I can't stand. There we go. So you just get a little bit in there and then maybe one more. So that's my weird question for you. It has nothing to do with flowers, but you know, it's a holiday, so we're gonna do sort of weird things today. What food is your absolute never eat under any circumstances food? Okay, let's kind of put that in there. What is your least favorite food? Now, peppers aren't my favorite, but I will eat them. They don't make me go, ugh, I can't eat that, but they aren't my favorite. Beets are my, I will not eat it. I can't even smell a beet without being, you know, it just doesn't happen. So what is your food that you just detest? So we're gonna go away from flowers for a second and think food. What is your no eat food? And then you guys let us know as it goes along. Carolyn, what you got there? So before we get onto the food question, Diane had a really great, great question, is how would you work with a large um, vegetable such as a head of cabbage? Ooh, when, who was that? Diane Alluette. Oh, Diane, okay. Oh yeah, I know Diane. Excellent, excellent, excellent question. And I happen to have a large vegetable fruit item that I'm going to be designing in and I'll show you how I do it. So that's a great question. And you hold your horses because we'll come to that one as soon as I finish this. I'll do that next, I promise. That'll be my next thing. So on these, I just kind of lay them out how I might want them. And this is the type of thing, you could do a dozen of these and then send them home with your guests so that they each have something to enjoy and think about your picnic and how much fun they had. Or you just you keep them yourself and have another party because you've got so many flowers, you can just keep having more parties. I mean, with the 4th being on Thursday, you could have a 4th of July celebration a 5th of July celebration, a 6th of July celebration, and then a 7th of July Sunday brunch, then come to the Tulip Tribe Champagne Reception. Talk about a great party time period. It's the best. What else is happening out there? We're getting lots of no touching on, on the foods. Olives, okra, radish, sushi, sauerkraut, anything that swims. <laughs> <laughs> And on Facebook, we've got broccoli. Broccoli. And liver. And, and liver. liver. I love it. Oh, my gosh. That's so true. We all have things that we are passionate about that we just can't eat under any circumstances. And usually, well, not always, but many times, it has a psychological connotation, even more so than the taste. I think the reason I can't do beets, because I'll eat anything. I really like vegetables, and I'll eat any vegetable in the world. I even like okra and broccoli. What about cilantro? No, I don't eat cilantro. Ooh, you're mean. <laughs> but I, will, I can tolerate cilantro. But beets, I can't even tolerate, and it's because... You know how people can ruin you for life? I had a babysitter, that tells you how old I was. I had a babysitter who made me eat beets and I told her I would throw up if I ate the beets. And she made me eat them anyway. And you know what, I threw up. And so ever since then I can't eat a beet. So it's a babysitter ruined me for life. Oh my gosh. So what ruined you for life? What else have we got there? So we had liver, we had broccoli, okra. Oysters. Oh oysters, okay, that's a tough one. A lot of people don't like oysters. I just 
learn to like oysters. I think it is a learned um, flavor and texture. And I can only eat the really little ones. I don't like the big ones. Oh, that's kind of scary. So adding just some carnations, what I'm doing is picking up the red from the tomatoes, but the tomato is too big to set in there. I did have this one. Yeah, it's just too big. I think if anything, I'll just set it on the ground beside it. But the red of the mini carnations pick up that feeling of the tomatoes and carries the color across so that we can get it in there. So after I get this done, I'm going to have to take it home for my 4th of July festivities because there's no flowers in my house right now. They all died. I ended up throwing away the last ones today. So definitely I'm going to have to take some things home so that we can get it all festive and ready. And then I have a red plaid tablecloth that I love to use for all the patriotic holidays. It just seems appropriate. It's a red plaid antique tablecloth that I collected years ago as a gift from my mother-in-law. It was hers and it's like from maybe the late 40s, the 50s, something like that. And it's the most beautiful tablecloth and this will just look so pretty on that. So it'll be grand. Going back with some spray roses, tucking those in. Now, if you've come to flower school, the techniques that I'm using are basing techniques. I'm doing some pave, some pillowing. I'm going to do a little bit of terracing. So it's the same things you've been learning. I'm just interpreting it in sort of an odd way using vegetables and then standard flowers, nothing really special. But I can take a Gaelic sleeve and add that and terrace it over the top with the pillowed mini carnations and roses. Now some of you are joining me for the certified evaluator judge testing on the 7th of July. And if you are, just a hint, and I sent this to you already in the guidelines, the frequently asked questions, you want to remember your techniques, like basing techniques, and your elements and principles, because that's what we'll be testing, is to know your elements and principles and your techniques. So if you're a Floral Design Institute graduate, you're already halfway there. You just gotta brush up, make sure that you remember what they all are, because terracing is a basing technique, pillowing and pave are basing techniques, making sure that I have a focal emphasis, get my elements and principles in here. You can see how it's all coming together now. Isn't that fun? Just little simple things. Double checking to make sure you don't see my foam. And then I'm going to come back. Well, I was going to use the white. Yes, I am going to use the white. I think it'll be fine. I thought, oh, it might be too bright. But you know, it's a holiday. You want to think about fireworks and bright and festive. So I'm going to go ahead over the top with a little bit of the white, which does brighten it a lot and changes it out a little. Anything else exciting out there in the world of the floral tulip tribe, tulip tribe collaboration? Well, we have some more foods coming in that people don't like. Tripe. Oh, yes, tripe. <laughs> oh, my gosh, menudo. <laughs> and then pizza. Pizza? That's un-American. Actually, it's Italian, but whatever. <laughs> Although they would probably tell you it's not Italian, that it's American. Who knows? Whatever. So. Brussels sprouts. Okay. And peanut butter. Peanut butter? Okay. And I have to tell you, my mom ruined me on beets and did the same thing your babysitter did. Oh, okay. <laughs> See? People, you can ruin people for life with these silly little things. Yeah. Marisa, what you got there? Well, I got runny eggs. Oh, I hate runny eggs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I hate runny eggs. Okay. And then speaking of uh, students, I do want to give a shout out to uh, Donna Blount, Angela Hoyt, Bonnie Myers, Jen Russiman, and Ashley Petras. And also would like to welcome Carolyn McQuaw, who's coming to the classroom on Monday. Carolyn, I'm so glad you came in. We have um, one spot left in the July class. That's it. So... 
you're in, you're safe, we've got your space saved, and it's ready to roll. So that's pretty exciting, very exciting. So now I've got things in here. Maybe do a leaf on this one, carrying it on across. Keeping the unity of having everything together. So now what's missing in my unity, which again, the elements and principles, you've got to have it all. I need some of the white in the big one because it doesn't coordinate with the little one. So coming back with a little bit here. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? Does it work for you? I'm going to try to stage it so you can see a little better. Move some things around because it gets a little crowded up here. There we go. Maybe a little bit here. Yeah, a little bit over here. So you can see just tucking in a little bit. So it was fun to hear that Bonnie was watching. Bonnie is my girlfriend who is on her way. She's driving up here to Portland and going to be spending the holiday with me, which I'm so excited. And yes, she might visit her daughter who happens to be here, but that's beside the point. It's all about me. And so I'm very excited that she'll be coming up. Um, I haven't seen her for three weeks. It's been forever. So we need that. Leanne, um, Ricky King wants to know if those are Nigelia pods. They are Nigelia pods, Ricky. That is correct. And they are such a gorgeous green color. And I was thinking as I was just looking at my Unity that I should probably put some over in the little guys too so that we've got them. Now the Nigelia, Nigelia was white. It had little white flowers on it. You can see a dead one right there. And then as they went to seed, they create these beautiful pods, which are so wonderful. Now, if you have been watching, we're getting ready to make our grand announcement of what's new and exciting. If you would share this video to send it out to as many people as possible so that they can all hear, because it's not limited this time. You know, sometimes we say only two people or only 10 people. This one is not limited to number of people. This one is limited to a date range and so if you could share and spread the news i would appreciate that just take a moment and say hey watch this video tune in see what's happening tag a friend that way it goes over to them and they know that you're watching and then i'm going to go ahead and get ready to make an announcement what else is going on out there okay so move your arrangement over to your left just a little bit and then pull the little guys back Okay. Gotta get it so you guys can see and everything. Your coffee cup out of the seat. Oh, my coffee cup needs to be here. Okay, so I'm clearing things away so that you all can see before I start my next arrangement because I have to do a big arrangement for Diane so that she can see how you would do a bigger piece of produce. And Ricky King wants to remind you that back in 2005, Ricky, you and I were inducted into AIFD this week. That's right. And Ricky, I think you were right in front of us. I think it went Ricky, David, and me, and we were all inducted together. We are soul siblings, I guess you could call it. And I'm so excited for you. You had your birthday, and it sounded like it went fabulous. And it sounds like you are just in a great spot with your new fur baby and everything. So it's grand to have you join us on live. It's really wonderful. And being inducted together is quite memorable. Very, very memorable. So, David, am I set up well where people can see it now? Yes, a little more space between the little guys so you can really see them. How's that? Go. Okay, guys. That's beautiful. Are we beauty must and now? And you've got a tomato who kind of looks lost in the front there. Well, take it camping. That's your hang on, little tomato. There we go. How about I put him over there? Is that better? <laughs> uh, back him up just a little bit. Now we can see him. Okay. Now your vignette is nicely balanced. Good job. Okay, maybe I could put more tomatoes now that I've really messed it up. If that's okay. There. I do love tomatoes. 
Tomatoes are not one of my foods that I won't eat. Tomatoes are an okay food. That's a good one. So, so Facebook seems to be behaving now. Okay. So let's remind everyone that when the broadcast is over, they can see it again, and it should come through in good shape when they review it. Okay, so I don't know if you all heard that from David, but Facebook was having some hiccups at the beginning of the, ser of the program. If perchance you were having troubles and couldn't see it, you can watch it in replay. I'll keep it pinned to the top of our page so you can go back and watch it without the hiccups. If you migrate it over to YouTube, success. That works too. So you really have two choices. It makes it very easy. So does everybody like this? What do you think? Should I do something like this again? Or do you never want to see this one again? Is it over? Well, you made somebody hungry. They want a tomato sandwich. <laughs> you know, a tomato sandwich? Yeah. Actually, mine would be a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. That would be pretty yummy with homegrown tomatoes, not these. These, these tomatoes, they don't even smell like a tomato. They are just perfect for designing. No eating. What you got? On YouTube, you're getting a lot of requests to do this again in the fall. Oh, wouldn't this be good in the fall with sunflowers? Mmm. Okay. Point made because I was just looking at the film schedule and figuring out, okay, what other YouTubes and what other videos and what other lives? And so I'll add a Della Robia influence design live. So Maurice and Carolyn make a note of that so that I said I would do that because I always say I would do something and then I forget. So thank you for the suggestions. If you have other suggestions, stick them in there. We love to hear what you want to see because it lets me know. And we love to hear what food you hate. We love to hear what you're going to do for the holiday. We love to know where you're from. You know, it's just, it's casual conversation together so that we all get to know each other. Reminder, July 7th, next Sunday, 7.30, if you can get to Vegas, and meet me for the Tulip Tribe Champagne Reception. I'd love to meet you in the real world. Just private message or email or leave it in the comments. Somehow, somehow, get that message to me and I'll get you the room information so that you can join us. It's going to be grand fun. Now, I'm going to get ready to do a big one. Can I move this out of the way? Do we have everybody see that? Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. Uh, just one moment, I've got another one to do here. And while I do that, I'll tell you what our surprise is. We have a 4th of July promotion. It's just for kicks. Something that I've been wanting to do because I just learned how to do this. You know, I'm not the most tech savvy girl. I like technology, but I don't always get it. You know, if you, you have one of those days where you touch a computer and everything just kind of goes blah, and the blue screen of death or whatever, and you're just like, oh, I hate this. But sometimes you figure something out and you think, how cool is that? Well, I figured out how to do a master sale. I'd never done one of those. We've never had a master sale. And I figured out how to do it. And I know how to push the buttons and to make it happen. So... The 4th of July, when we should all be out eating watermelon. <laughs> yes, David? I'm going to bring up your poster now. Okay, does it say sizzling summer sale? It said it's summertime. It's summertime. It's summertime. We're going to have a sizzling summer sale. It's good on just the 4th of July. But the secret is... I'm going to turn the button on as soon as I walk off the set. So it will actually start at about 4.05 or 4.10, however long it takes me to walk over, turn on my computer, and turn on the button. Because I now know how to do it. But the Sizzling Summer Sale is 10% off of absolutely everything on our website. So a DVD, a class, Foam, anything, wire, glue, the retreat, anything that you put in your shopping cart will automatically be 10% off. How cool is that? So David, bring it back up here so we can talk about watermelon. You're up. Okay. So watermelon, I just cut it. Okay. Then I used a candle holder. 
because it was a nice size to support it so that it doesn't tip over. And I scooped out, which we then all ate, and it was yummy, it was very good, and just tucked in wet foam that's soaked in flour food, no liner, and yes, it's going to get bacteria in there, but it's gonna last as long as the flowers are gonna last, so it'll be totally fine. Just setting it down in like that. You can tip it if you want, or you can keep it flat. Really up to you, or me, I guess. Really up to me. So if you've been thinking about doing something on our website, do it this evening or tomorrow, because no matter what, it's 10% off, and it's just all automatic, because I learned how to do the button. It is so cool. I can just go boom and push one button, and it makes everything 10% off. How I feel like the goddess of the internet, because it gave me such a feeling of power to just push that button, and it changes the whole world. I mean, how often can you change the world with one button? <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> it made me very happy. So there's no code? There's not even a code wow. needed. I know. And it even shows you on the page, it shows you, you will save da 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 da. Now you can put a code in, because I'd actually made a code, Sizzling Summer 10, but then I discovered that you don't even have to do that. And it shows you how much money you're saving. So you want to save more? Buy more. It's just like going to Costco. You save so much money. Oh, it's the best, absolute best. So. Little miniature hydrangea. What else is going on out there while I poke some flowers? Uh, Debbie Hansen wants to know, um, could you possibly use floral netting in your watermelon? You certainly could. You could do floral netting and then fill it with water. Again, it's going to have contaminants. You could put a liner in, and that way you wouldn't have that direct contact to the organic matter. But again, it's a picnic. And you just want to get it done and be set. But yes, you can do floral netting. You could do any mechanic that you wanted. You could do it as a hand tie and then set it in. That would work too. What you got? Great question. Is the Flower Lovers Club included in the discount? You know, that is a great question. And I bet you it is not. The Flower Lovers Club is the only item on our entire site that goes through a different network because it's a security issue so that because subscriptions need to have all this extra layer of security and so that way we don't know your credit card and there's all these things so the flower lovers club probably won't work but i will check maybe it will you know what at 410 Go put it in your cart and see what it says. That'll be our clue. I'm gonna do that and see what it says, but I'm thinking the Flower Lovers Club, it might not work. So I guess it's the entire site, minus one item, maybe. Well, so much for my feeling of accomplishment. I thought I had it down so pat, but you just may have discovered the one glitch in my system. Hopefully that's the only glitch and that we don't discover any more. Oh well, you know what? My feeling of superiority was very short-lived. But that, isn't that the way it always is? You think you got it figured out and then you discover that you don't know everything? Oh, I get that feeling a lot. And you probably do too. So, What else is happening out there? Um, I actually would like to do more shout outs to um, some more of your top fans on Facebook. We have Mary uh, Mans, Sharon Carroll, Bernadette Madrid Torres, Barb Wirt, and Chris Lobo Reyes. Hi, Mary. I understand you're not going to be in Vegas this year, but maybe in Chicago. So maybe I'll get to see you in real life next year. It is always hard to get everybody together at any given time, but glad you could join us today. And the rest of you, thanks for being here. It's so wonderful to have the Tulip Tribe together, to be able to get together each week and kind of support each other, see what's going on and what's happening in the world, find out who's had events and successes and such. If you've got anything you want to share with the tribe, type it in there. Let us know what's going on in your world. Tell us what's happening. What else is going on? David, anything out there in your world? Well, I'm going to ask you to talk about the retreat for just a little moment because that's a wonderful time for the tribe to get together in a wonderful atmosphere. So I've got an image coming up right now of your designers. Okay, so David posted a picture of the designers coming to the creative retreat. It's September 8th through 11, and the Bring a Friend discount 
is the very cheapest, absolute cheapest, because two people go for a very low price. It's the biggest savings period, and it does qualify for the 10% off. I double checked that. So that makes it like super cheap. And um, David's kind of sneering at me like, what, you put that one on sale? And yes, I did. Um, I made everything on sale. I learned how to push the buttons. So uh, yeah, the, the retreat, you can see the six designers, Francoise Weeks, Katie Davis, Carol Gillian, Shane Meehan, Jenny Thomason, Brenna Kwan. Did I get everybody? You got everybody. Okay. They're all coming into the Oregon Garden Resort to share that three day, actually four day period, three day plus a night, four days sharing and teaching and learning. Plus, you've got the six Floral Design, Instruct Floral Design Institute instructors. We'll have Anna. Jerry, Michelle, Shell, Carolyn, and Marisa, plus David and myself, we're all there to share and collaborate. And yes, the retreat is 10% off. You can do it on your own and register and save 10%. You can do it in the bring a friend discount, register, save 10%. Either way, it works. Yeah, Carolyn, what's up? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Mar just um, clarified, uh, Joseph talking about Flower Lovers Club itself, but the Flower Lovers discount, does it work in conjunction with the 10%? No, it does not. You can't double dip, sorry. But, 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 so the Flower Lovers Club discount, if you want to shop for supplies, use your club code, because you save 20%. That's way better twice as much, so you save 20%. But your club code, code does not qualify for classes at all. So if you're looking at a class or the retreat, you get that at 10% off. And you know, now that I say that, whoa, I just slapped myself. David, do you know they'll get 20% with their code plus the automatic 10%. So if you are a member of the Flower Lovers Club and you're buying supplies, I just lost 30%. Huh, well, so much for that one. So yes, your Flower Lovers Club code will work, but it doesn't work on classes. So the classes will still be 10%. So that's still a fabulous deal that you wouldn't normally get, but your supplies would be the 10% plus you've got your Flower Lovers Club code of 20%. Wow, you know what? Thinking through these promos before I announce it maybe would be a wiser choice, but what the heck? You know, it's a party and it's just for the 4th of July. So it's gonna go on at about 4.10 today when I push the button and it ends at midnight on the 4th of July, period. It's over because now that I know I'm giving you 30% and allowing double dipping, I've got to turn it off. David, what have you got? So the next time, why don't you talk to your staff before you do these? Because, you know, we're pretty smart over here. I know. The staff is always like, really, Leanne, you spring another one on us? But, you know, sometimes I just think about these things in the middle of the night, and it just seems like such a good idea, and then I just do it, and then people go, oh, Leanne. But that's what makes it so much fun for you, because you never know what oh, Leanne is going to do. It's just going to happen. So what else you got out there? Um, so going back to the retreat, so Carolyn again who's coming to classroom on Monday, she's actually looking for a friend to come to, a re to the retreat. Okay, so people, if you're thinking about the retreat, the retreat for Bring a Friend is 4500 I believe. Somebody double check me on that. How much is the Bring a Friend retreat? Is it 4500 Excellent. Okay, so we know. Minus 10% is $450. Hello, so Carolyn wants to come and she needs a second person, but nobody wants to do the deposit by themselves if the other person's not going to do it. So if one of you wants to be a friend so that you can bring a friend discount, saving an additional $450 on the already lowest price ever, you need to connect with Carolyn today and get registered tomorrow or it doesn't work. So you've got her in the feed there. Send her a private message. 
We aren't going to pimp you guys together. You have to do it yourself. So send her a private message. Carolyn did the shout out. Pay attention because you can do this. What a great value. So now I got this one done with the melon and the foam. But the other way to do this that is really a ton of fun is just to take your melon. And the reality is there's enough moisture in there that if it's a sturdy flower, it will support it. So you could take Gaelic sleeves and place them to break the line of the container or the melon, so to speak. Terracing them using your basing techniques for those of you doing your professional floral design evaluator test or the certified judge evaluator test. Getting those in there. Then maybe a pin cushion protea, nestling that in, right down securely in there, maybe a second one, so now I have terracing, a focal emphasis, you need to bring your eye back out the opposite side, creating that horizontal line through the arrangement. Then maybe softening it by adding a little bit of the vine so that we've got some movement. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I am loving this. I just, this one's gonna have to go home with me too. I don't know how I'm gonna get it all home, but oh well, I'll figure that out because this is just all too cool. I am loving this. Never can have too many flowers in the house. You know, there's not a thing that such as too many flowers. It's just the best. Tucking that in there now. And then the red peeking out gives you such festive color. Now, if you've got questions, type them in now. If you've got comments, because we've got just a few more minutes, and then we'll be going on holiday, because I know if I go long, the staff will really hate me, because everybody wants to start their holiday. So when we turn off at 4 o'clock, I'm going to walk over to my computer, and I'm going to turn on the 10% savings button which qualifies for too many things, oh well. You know that it starts today. Tomorrow, we'll be announcing it to the rest of the world. We'll be sending out an email and letting everybody else know. But if something's already sold out, that's too bad because if it's sold out, there's no rain checks. It's just the way it goes. So when the buttons turn off and there's no more, there's no more. So you get a free look before everybody else, and then tomorrow I'll send the email out to everybody so that no, nobody gets left out, but you get a preview. And when we walk out that door, I'm gonna turn on the computer, and then we're all taking off to begin our holiday, and you should too, because it's a pretty grand time to be out in the summertime. David, what you got? Well, those are pretty nice holiday arrangements. Let's see some hearts on the screen. Do you guys like it? Does that work for you? Which do you like better? The one with the foam or the one just directly into the watermelon? Do you have a preference? Because they're kind of fun. Tap your screen if you like it. If you don't like it, don't tell me. You'll hurt my feelings. If you haven't shared this, take a moment and share it so more people will know about the preview of the sale. That way, if they want to take class, if they want to be Carolyn's bring a friend so that she can save an additional 10%, that would be grand. Last thing I'm going to do on these, just because it even adds a little bit more festivity, is take some stars and just tuck these in. Doesn't that make it look definitely like 4th of July? Red star there. Well, so far, Leanne, um, three people say both. Both? Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we'll take both. That could be an answer. 
YouTube is saying foam. Foam, okay. Do you like it with the stars or should I have left the stars out? They're in now, but you can tell me if you like it or not. Okay. So then, David, why don't you put up the retreat one last time? That way I can set things up while they're looking at that. Okay, the retreat poster is up. Okay, so the retreat is at the Oregon Garden Resort, and it's a chance to relax and rejuvenate, a chance to get together and just take care of yourself. You need that. If you're a wedding florist, you need that break. And we timed it so that it starts Sunday night. So if you do weddings, you might do your delivery on Saturday, then get on a plane and come join us Sunday night. And it ends on Wednesday so that you can turn around and get back to do weddings again. So we purposely scheduled it so that it works for the wedding florist. So David, go ahead and bring it back up to me now. And I'm going to set these aside so you got to see how I would do a larger piece of produce. So Diane, with a cabbage, just slice across the top, score out that center part, and then if it's a really big cabbage, you can actually set a liner down on the inside of it because it's not waterproof. Like this one has a solid surface, um, but in a cabbage it doesn't. So you would just set a liner down onto the inside of it, and it's beautiful, especially like the purple, that vivid, vivid, oh, it's grand. So one last piece that I'll do real quickly here is the Fiesta pitcher. This one was my mother-in-law's, and I often do this one because I like to use her tablecloth, and it looks pretty on the tablecloth, and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, it just kind of matches. This one will probably sit on the kitchen counter this time. And it doesn't take much. I just filled it with water. It has no floral netting, no foam. It's just fresh water, a little bit of flower food. And then just taking vine, this is the clematis again, and I can feed it through the spout and let it drape to the table so it just actually hangs there. And then bring in another one. So you've got about three minutes for questions, and then we're going on holiday. We'll see you next week, but. We're going to be just having too much fun around here. Watching fireworks, having picnics, probably making hamburgers, who knows what all, but it's going to be a ton of fun. Maybe a little bit of hydrangea. And tucking it in very low so it becomes part of the nest that will support the other flowers. Second piece. So while I finish this, I'll take a moment again and say thank you. Thank you to the entire Tulip team for making this possible, for staying late on a holiday. Normally on a holiday, we close at two or three because what the heck, it's a holiday. But this time, because it was a live day, we all stayed till four o'clock for you because we wanted to spend the time with you. So thanks to the team, Caledonia, Susie, Carolyn, Marisa, Beckett, Marianne, and David. We couldn't do it without you all. It takes everybody, it takes a village. Then thank you the tribe for being here, sharing your afternoon or evening with us, or some of you, because of the time difference, you might be sharing your morning, your middle of the night, who knows what you're doing. Tucking in some protea. Protea just lasts so well. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Removing the foliage because it gets spotted many times, but the bloom is still beautiful. And then setting it down in. Shadowing one behind the other. Okay. So you can see it from both sides. Looks grand. Just tucking it, making sure that everything stays put. Then thinking about what else I might want in here, because it's like, huh, too many choices. You know what could be fun? A little bit of the dendrobium. Get away from the red of the holiday and look more at the purples, and the blues, letting it come out like it's draping, pouring. Looks good from both sides, turning it so you can see it. 
course, once you do something on one side, you want to carry it through visually so that it balances. So I'm going to bring one up over here just a little bit. Now, we've got one space left in the July class. I know Sophie might be taking it. Maybe she's already done so. If not, it's open for the grabbing. So if you are thinking about it, we have one space left for July 8th. If you're thinking about the online courses, the sizzling sale, the discount price does qualify for that. So yes, you can sign up online, join us for flower school and save 10%. So our super sizzling summer sale, how cool is that? I'll turn on the button in about five minutes. It's first come, first serve. When things are sold out, it's sold out. There's no rain checks. Then next week, we'll be back on the 10th. And I'll have so much to share with you because we will have just watched our graduates be inducted into AIFD. We will have just seen the Professional Flow Design Institute our professional floral design evaluation design so that we can see our graduates, how they did when they tested. I'll be seeing so many of you at the Tulip Tribe Meetup, and then we can share that all with you next week on the 10th as we go live again. So now you've seen some fun designs. If you had trouble at the beginning with Facebook, go back. You can catch it on replay. It's also on YouTube. We'll leave it on there. Feel free to leave comments. If you can join me in Vegas, send me a message. I'll send you the room details so that you can be there. But for now, let's all begin our holiday. Celebrate summer. If you're in the US, happy 4th of July. If you're in Canada, happy Canada Day a few days late. Any place else in the world, happy summertime. Or if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, happy wintertime, whatever it is for you. But thanks for joining me and I'll see you all next week. Get out there and do something you love. Thank you.